Well, hi everybody. Finally back on the road again. So in the next few videos, I'm going to uh, highlight some of the uh, budget camp areas and free camp areas along the way. Uh, hope to, hopefully in New South Wales and Queensland, depending on the weather. It's raining now. I hope you can uh, join me in this little trip and uh, enjoy the videos. They'll only be short, so it shouldn't bore you too much. Thank you for watching. Now, Dugong's the first stop. It's uh, just south of Yass. Uh, we turn into the entrance here. Uh, the amenities block's on the uh, right there. Now, I did a video on Dugong some time ago, and I'll put a link in the uh, description below if anyone's interested in having a look at it. Now, as we come into the uh, free camp area, just to the right there is the uh, dump point, which is very handy to have. And you can see by the... Uh, video that it's a a vast area uh, it's lovely and green and plenty of water taps all over the place and a great place to stay now my next stop is the little town of Bircher in New South Wales which is about half an hour from Condobolin and West Wyong but to get into Bircher I had to cross this swollen creek here but I did consult a local chap who said to me, yes, you'll be right to get across. But I emphasised do not try to cross these swollen rivers or creeks unless you have local knowledge or someone's there to guide you across. Now at the end of the railway line, you'll find the peaceful village of Bircher. The caravans, motorhomes and campers are welcome to stay at the Bircher Camping Grounds for a donation. There's powered and unpowered sites and basic facilities include showers, toilets and drinking water. There's also a camp kitchen which provides a sheltered barbecue and sink making it uh, convenient for those visitors who wish to cater for themselves. Uh, just adjacent to the uh, campground is the Mick McKinley Oval. It's a well-kept ground but it seems that uh, it's not used that much. It's got a fine uh, synthetic cricket pitch in the centre so she's all ready to go and of course uh, we have the grandstand here waiting to be packed with spectators. The Bircher Tennis Club is uh, I don't think operating at the moment. It's a little overgrown but it's all ready to go and uh, there's the barbecue area. Now the Bircher Hotel, there's a sign of the times there. Unfortunately it's closed at the moment. Now something uh, unique to Bircher is the Bush Chapel uh, which is on the edge of Bircher and offers quiet solitude and provide, provides an idyllic setting to sit and reflect I guess. Its simple wooden cross and pews make, made from the surrounding bush bring this closeness to the scrub which ensures peaceful medication and contemplation in the open air. Well, we'll say farewell to the little town of Bircher. It's a beautiful little place. It's well worth a visit and I recommend it to anybody. So at the end of the video, I'll just um, show some shots of Ver Bircher. And I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.